All right, um, I'm gonna show you how to set up the DOS Trader uh, the way I have it set up. Just got the chart, your account value, and all this other stuff. Um, I'll walk you through that real quick, and then I'll show you how to sh uh, set up the hotkeys. Clear desktop, yours is gonna open to something else whenever whenever you first open it, you just gotta clear desktop. And then what you'll wanna do is go through here and go to trade. Um, Open a montage. This is how you're going to place orders. Just go ahead and put this stuff out here. Quotes, chart. You're going to pull two charts up. I'll just go ahead and put these to the side over here. Um, again, I don't use the DOS Trader charts. I've never messed with them. I'm sure you can make them where they look good, but um, they look pretty crappy in my opinion. Uh, we're gonna do account. Um, this is your account value here. Um, I'll put that at the top in between these two. I make that pretty small. Um, you can make it however big you want. And then below that, um, you're gonna want a orders window. Orders, this is going, going to show you have to have this up because sometimes you'll press your hotkeys and that order will be pending and you'll keep pressing your hotkeys because you don't know you have a pending order. So you have to have the orders window up. I put the orders window, then under the orders window, I do positions. This right here is going to show you your positions. So you have your account at the top, uh, your orders window here, and your positions window here. And your montage below that. This is your level two. Um, just so you can see kind of how this works. Uh, what was the one we just type in a random one? Uh, and you can you can go in and play with all. In order to change these, all you do is you right click on it, uh, right click on it, and you'll go in here into configure, and you can change the colors of it, do whatever you want with it. I'm not going to get into that. Um, below this, I have. The watch list, if I can find it again. What was it? In the window. Give me one second. Uh, I can't remember where the what the watch list was. Market viewer, that's it. My mind has uh, has been going blank a lot today, so bear with me, everyone. Uh, when you when you open this on yours, you're going to uh, you're going to have blank fields, and every time you type something out in it, you're just going to add another one. You can go in and, and delete. Or you can click on it, right click and delete it and go through there. Each day you can make your watch list and you can sync everything. So it, it kind of goes to the chart. Um, pull this out here. Uh, I've, I've never used the charting on here. So you can see it's kind of bad. Then below these, what I do is um, have the market clock. just so you can see what time it is. Um, this right here is how, when, when there's a play that's halted or something, you will, uh, you'll be able to use this down here to know when it's gonna unhalt because it counts by the second. And your, your level two right here will show 
exactly when the halt happens. And then you can go in here and edit everything. The next thing I do is I put a scanner on here. This is the scanner that I was telling everyone about. It's been so long since I've done this, so everyone bear with me. I put my scanner down here, the bottom of the screen. You can see I have a percent change from open. You can just click scan and it'll pull up everything. Uh, and then what you want to do is you, you double click the change percent and it pulls up the, the biggest scanners right here. Then you want to open up another montage, which is just like what this is right here. You'll open up another montage. And the only reason you're doing this montage right here is for the scanner side. And here's how you link everything together. You grab the anchor that is right here on the montage and you drag it to this chart um, down here to this. So when it's on the, uh, the watch list, you can just click through, but you have to be sure you drag the anchor. Then on this one, you're gonna drag to here and drag the anchor down here to the scanner. And then you're just going to minimize this. Uh, you have no need for this anymore. So you solely just have this one to link the scanner. This is my DOS Trader setup. Um, then the next thing that I do is I go through, I right click on the outside of, of every, everything that's on the screen. Then I click no title bar. It kind of cleans it up and you can see how much better it looks just by doing this. If you ever, if you want to move this uh, and rearrange everything, you have to go back in and add the title bar back. And now you have everything set up, your scanners, and, and all of that, and you can literally just move this anywhere you want, just get it out of the way. Um, if you want to add or modify, you can go to add, you can go to volume price filter. There's multiple options, 52 week high, low, uh, RSI, uh, gap down, gap up. So basically if I'm scanning for gappers in the morning, I'm going to do this. I'm going to click up, uh, price filter. I'm going to do $1 to 25 or 30, uh, just say 30. Volume filter low, 1 million. High, 100 million, just so it scans everything. And you don't have to worry about this other thing. Scanner name, gap scan. Of course you can name it whatever you want, MIT. You go down here, and of course, this is just solely going to be for um, market open and pre-market. You just scan, and here's what we have. We can click through these and see what, what everything looks like. If you want to add the EMAs and all of that to your chart, you just right-click and configure, uh, study config right there. And you'll go through here, and you'll scroll down to EMAs wherever that is, I've probably passed it. This, uh, I think it's actually MA. I'm, I'm literally blind. Here's a, here's the VWAP. You'll literally just go over, select it, select that moves it over to this side. Moving average right here. You're going to select two of those you're going to go in here. You're going to right click. No, I'm sorry. You're going to click on it. You're going to go down here to config. You see, I already had my 90 MA up there. Um, config, you're going to change that number to 20 exponential make sure it's exponential moving average, not just a regular moving average and commit 
commit, and you see now I have the VWAP and the other lines on this chart. Um, now I'm going to go over hotkeys. This right here is literally all you need. If you have a laptop, don't even worry about this scanner side over here. Um, you're only going to have room for this right here. Just this, uh, the middle and the left chart. In order to make hotkeys, you go up here to setup. You'll go to hotkey. You will scroll down here. You will go to add new item. What you want to do on this is you name it, uh, market. Uh, that's just a, that's a marketable limit order. Hotkey shift B. There's already one on the name. Um, so I'm just going to put something random. You're going to go down here to order script wizard. You're going to go through all of these. Um, this is going to be the buy. You don't want to, you want to leave the share size blank. Um, just because the share size is going to vary. So you'll be able to type in on your montage. Uh, how many shares you want when you get your hotkeys it will work you don't on the price in order to buy you are buying the ask plus five cents in your account um, i leave this blank also because you have your regular account and your paper account so i leave that blank if you just have it to one account the hotkeys are only going to work on one account so if you're trying to paper trade and you have your hotkeys set up for your main account Every time you press that hotkey on the paper account, it's going to buy in your real account. I've done that before. It's not fun. Uh, the root is going to be NASDAQ L. So NSDQL. TIF is going to be day plus. The reason you're doing NSDQL is because that lets you buy pre market and after hours. If it's just NSDQ, you can only use that hotkey for uh, market hours. Mode is going to be load and send. And this right here is all you need. Once you do that, you're going to go to build script and it builds your script up here. And then you go to commit. And that's how you build the buy hotkey in order to do the, uh, Sell hotkey, you're going to go over here, same setup. Sell, you're going to do the bid right here. Bid minus five. Minus five cents. Um, this right here is your sell hotkey. You go to build script and that builds the sell hotkey. In order to sell half of your position, if you want to scale, you're going to click right here on the share and you're going to go to BP5 right there. And that's going to sell half of your position. And that's how you set up the hotkeys. You can go in here and build these and do honestly whatever you want with them. Uh, but that's my hotkey setup. All right, if anyone has any questions, just shoot me a DM and I'll be glad to help.